G'day, welcome to Tech Math. Today, we're going to look at a really fast way of multiplying by some common numbers. These numbers are 5, 25, and 125. And what we're going to be looking at is how to multiply by these and get our answer instantly. So we'll start with 5, then we'll move to 25, then we'll move to 125. And what's more, as we go along, I'll show you why this works so you can remember how to do it when you want to use it. So let's start by looking at how to multiply by 5 instantly. So say we had 34 multiplied by 5. Now to get our answer instantly, there is two steps. The first thing we're going to do is we get our 34 and we're going to divide that by 2. And then we're going to get our answer and we're going to multiply it by 10. So none of those are very hard steps. So let's do this. 34 divided by 2 is equal to 17. 17 times 10 is 170. 34 times 5 is 170. That's pretty easy, right? All right, so why does this work? I'll show you. So we're multiplying by 5, and 5 is equal to 10 over 2. So what we're doing is first off, we're dividing by 2. That's the division part there. And then we're multiplying by 10. So as long as we do those steps, it's the same as multiplying by 5. So let's go through and do another question here. So say we want to work out 126 multiplied by 5. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 2. 126 divided by 2 is 63. Multiplied by 10 is 630. Instant. All right. Now, what about a variant where it gets a little bit harder? Say 2 doesn't go into the number really uh, nicely. Say it's an odd number we're multiplying by. Say it was 47 multiplied by 5. Well, that's simple. What we're going to do is we're going to divide by 2 and just use remainders here. So... 47 divided by 2 is equal to 23 because, you know, 2 times 23 is 46. And there is one remainder there. I'm just going to put it in red there as a one remainder. Then what we do is we multiply by 10. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a space there when we do that. It's going to be a zero, but I'm going to put a space there as a placeholder. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 1 times 5, one group of 5 to it, and we're going to get 5, okay? So... 47 times 5 is 235. So it's pretty simple, right? Divide by 2, multiply by 10, and add that 5 on if you have to. So there you go. Pretty simple, right? So hit the like button, and now I'm going to show you how to multiply by 25. So let's multiply 36 by 25 and see what this equals. Now, I'm going to start out with the why this works straight away, and then you'll be able to work out what to do. So... What we're going to be multiplying by is 25. 25 is equal to 100 divided by 4. So we're going to be dividing by 4 and multiplying by 100. Okay, you got that? First off, we're going to divide by 4, and then we're going to multiply by 100. So let's do that and get our answer instantly. So 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. 9 times 100 is equal to 900 instantly. All right. You know they're going to get a little bit harder than this, but not that much harder. So let's now have a look at 84 multiplied by 25. Maybe you give this one a go. First off, we divide by 4. So 84 divided by 4 is equal to 21. 21 times 100 is 2,100. Cool. And as you can see so far, there has been no remainder. So I've, I've sort of set it up so it's nice, but now I'm going to put one with a remainder in there. So let's have a look at 23 multiplied by 25. Okay, so what is this? All right, so how many times does 4 go into 23? Well, 4 goes into 23 five times, and there is 3 remainder. Okay, 5 times 4 is equal to 23 remainder. Now what we have is 3 times 25. 3 times 25, because we'd be multiplying by 100, put those two spaces there. 3 times 25 is equal to 75. We add that on. So we get 23 times 25 is 575. All right, you got that? Like I said, it's pretty easy and it's really instant. And if you haven't done so already, hit that like button. Now we're going to have a look at multiplying by 125. So let's go 48 times 125 and see what that equals. Now, once again, 125 is equal to 1000 divided by 8. So we're going to be dividing by 8 and multiplying by 1,000. That is, dividing by 8 and multiplying by 
a thousand putting those three spaces in and taking care of any remainders that we have to so let's do this all right 48 times 125 so 48 divided by 8 uh, 6 eighths of 48 so that's going to be a 6 and then multiply by a thousand the answer is 6,000 awesome all right what about 161 multiplied by 125 all right this is my variant one see how you go all right so first off divided by 8 here 161 divided by 8 well that's equal to 20. all right then we're going to multiply by a thousand so we're going to have those three spaces now as you can see 161 divided by 8 was equal to 20 but we had one remainder all right so 1 times 125 we put that on as 125 there you go 161 times 125 is equal to 20,125 so have you got those under your belt what about I give five of these that you can do so we'll start with 24 multiply by 5 and see what that equals next we have 33 multiply by 5 and we'll see what that equals uh, we'll have 18 multiplied by 25 and see what that equals uh, what about 31 multiplied by 25 and see what that equals and then finally what about 138 multiplied by 125 some nice big numbers there see if you can do this All right you're giving this a go well let's do this so first off we have numbers being multiplied by 5 that is 10 divided by 2 so first we're going to divide by 2 and then multiply by 10 so 24 divided by 2 that is equal to 12 multiply by 10 our answer is 120 all right how'd you go on that let's have a look at the next one 33 multiplied by 5 so we go 33 divided by 2 we're going to get 16 with one remainder 1 times 5 is equal to 5 we put that on the end 165 all right let's have a look now at multiplying by 25 because 25 is equal to 100 divided by 4 all right that's our steps so first off we divide by 4 18 times 25 18 divided by 4 is equal to 4 4 4 is a 16 there's two remainder 2 times 25 is equal to 50 put that on 450 all right 31 multiplied by 25 all right how many times does 4 go in to 31 well 7 4s are 28 so that's 7 and there's 3 remainder 3 times 25 is equal to 75 all right our answer 775 like i said you get faster and faster and faster at these right all right finally let's have a look at 138 multiplied by 125 uh, 125 once again is a thousand divided by eight all right cool so let's divide by eight first 138 divided by eight well 13 divided by eight that's one and there's five remainder there and uh that's seven eighths of 56 so that's going to be 17 and there is two left over all right so two times 125 is 250 our answer 17,250 so there you go a really easy instant way of multiplying numbers like 5 25 and 125 tell me what you thought of that if you like this video remember hit the like button leave a comment telling me what you thought once again and if you really wish to support the tech math channel maybe consider becoming a patron there is a link in the description below a big shout out to my patrons you get very very little for uh, becoming a patron but you support me and i really well appreciate that anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you next time